Say hi. Hi. Hello. Finally at Armature Works. Taking you guys, right? Mm -hmm. So we come here a lot. With no mommy. Yeah, no mommy. She's at home working. I'm gonna try to cover wind a little. Okay. So it is the Indy Flea today. So we're gonna go walk around and look at some local vendors. I did not bring the tripod so or the gimbal, so it's gonna be hand carried all day. So let's see how well this goes, right? Yep. Right. Hi Sammy Spooners, by the way. Forgot to say that. So during the flea market, they got a bunch of shops outside as well as inside. I'll take you guys inside in a moment, but they got all these cool little vans set up with goods. What's up? About a piggy's a doll and we just saw them. Oh, okay. Of course, it's very Instagram worthy. They have a little sign that you can get pictures with that's out here all the time. Oh, Okanola is new. Wow. That looks cool. They've opened up these big bays on the left here. They're full of Indian fleet. Well, restaurants and other stuff are kind of inside, which are here all the time. But this is the special thing today that everybody comes for. Indy Flea, here we go. A picture on a paper book. I know. Original artists, clothes, uh, they got food. Uh, it's, it's just a little bit of everything. Whatever people who want to sign up for the Indie Fleet, I'd recommend following it because it doesn't just come here. The Indie Fleet travels all over Florida and they go to different locations, different time of the month. So it's, it's good to actually follow because you get different artists depending where you're at. Sarah and I love this sort of style, the, the vintage, steel work, like lights and everything, it's very cool. We really like that stuff. different things, different lines. You can get what you ever want. They have a uh, water for free. And it's just kind of come eat, hang out. They have a few other stores. They have a coffee, tea. Busy. Everybody's just busy, 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 busy. As you can see, it kind of goes all the way down and then curves to the right as well for more restaurants. And outside is seating, kind of little, they usually have music out there. They have a giant, two giant catch boards. It is more, and it's just kind of a very fun, chill location. Really good food, very, very friendly people. It's just a lot of fun being here. Broccoli, you want the broccoli? I want the broccoli. They got a place for like cooking classes, and they do like yoga on the lawn out here, and they have a run club, and just a bunch of different things. So it's, it's very cool, this place. And they try to like do a lot with the community and make it kind of a community spot. And I think they accomplished that quite well, actually. Bowls over here, that's what this line had of me. And they have wine and sushi around the corner right here. So I said, kind of just an outdoor area. They're building up millware on the other side, so it's, it's, it's still being developed. But we, we really went through the Indie Flea really fast, simply because with those two, it's a little hard to keep them from touching everything. Because literally, they wanted to stop and touch everything, and a lot of stuff is semi-fragile. 
So it is kid friendly in the way, you know, they're, all kids are there, but it is, you know, ours hard work. There's things that can break. So you just have to be careful with kids. So I kind of just went through it fast, looked at everything there are. And so we can now discuss things we saw. And if we want to go back to any specific particular stall, we can. But I mean, they literally had everything. Leather workers, knives, cutting boards, uh, vegan cookies, non-vegan cookies, candles, uh, plants. So just anything under the sun that people create, it comes to the Indie Fleet. And again, it travels around. So it's not always here. And I'm sure at each location has different artists and vendors because it is such a, a mainstay thing. Look how pretty that is. And you lately smells amazing. Oh my god, it smells good. Huh. Never actually kind of looked on this side up close. We always just kind of walk by. They got like statues and fun stuff. All right. Back to Armature Works. Hey guys, a few weeks later and we're back. This time for the, uh, the morning market, I think it's called. So, no, you weren't here with us. We went for the Indy Flea. And it's all going to be rolled in together. So since then, I know I talked to you guys about the vouchers. Apparently, that's gone. It's now just five dollars for parking, no voucher, which sucks, but What's it is what voucher? it is. But we're now going to be showing you guys the morning market that they have. It's this is I think the third or fourth one. It's still relatively new. It's a lot of. We're, we're hoping it's a lot of fun. We'll get some lunch here as well today. And it's not as busy as last time, as you guys can see. Like the dirt park area is empty comparatively. This restaurant is also now officially open that you guys saw last time. Yeah. Big kitchen. It seems like it is inspired type kitchen stuff, so. Armature also announced that they're gonna have a vegan restaurant opening up. We're gonna see if we can figure out where. You wanna start over here? Yeah, So we'll walk through, see if we can figure out where that restaurant's gonna go in. Dougie. Not yet. Because we have to have lunch first. Hmm. My dad would like that. Hummus. Gourmet dips. Ooh. So on a day like today, where it's less busy and it's still early, like this area is open, so the girls can go out and play and have fun. While like the busier days, it's just it's too crowded. And it's nice that you know they actually got chairs out. It's a nice little market. It's definitely been bigger beforehand. I think once the construction is done on the other side, it'll be bigger as well. We really like the Heights Public Market, Armature Works, whatever you want to call it. Uh, maybe? Yeah, that might be. It always smells so good in here. <laughs> 